Emerson Yale bring you Everest's most advanced store ever. Fitted with smart lock, you can send virtual keys from wherever you are to whoever you want. Fit the best. Fit Everest. I'm Shree Bose, and I am a medical student. I was 15, and my grandfather passed away of cancer. I wanted to start doing cancer research. I think designs can be an incredible force for good. This Windows 10 PC is great. It's really cool to have these like 3D visualizations. The competition is well underway. Things are holding up in this professional kitchen. Take off the professionals. Continue Sunday at 8 on Channel 4. Catch up on all. We're investigating universal credit, a cornerstone of the government's welfare reform. Cutting the benefits bill is the government's big thing, but not everyone is overjoyed. Have a look at this protest here. Disabled people worried that they're going to bear the brunt of universal credit. And this is despite government assurances last autumn. Now, it is right that we focus our disability benefits on those that need it most. We will support those who are unable to work. That promise means nothing to single mum Tracy. She's registered disabled and found that rather than helping her, universal credit made life far tougher. It started off with a diagnosis of ME when I was 18, and it wasn't until I was in my 20s that I had x-rays um, that noticed early arthritis, and um, also had an ability was diagnosed as well, joints that just move a little bit more than they should, which causes a lot of pain. Under the old system, Tracy qualified for a number of benefits, including employment support allowance. Poor health meant she also received a severe disability premium of £62 a week. The extra cash meant Tracy could afford home help to remain independent. It was just things like well, if the kitchen floor needed cleaning, or bathroom floor, and maybe just cleaning out the bath. Seemingly minimal things, but things that I was unable to do because of bending down, getting up off the floor. Tracy's condition meant she was under no obligation to look for work. Yet despite this, she was determined to get a job and found one in a shop. But it wasn't long before her disability caught up with her. As much as I enjoyed it, I could feel myself struggling and it, it was starting to, to slip into the work that I was doing and also my ability to look after my daughter when I got home. I just knew that, you know, it, it wasn't working. You had to chat the shop in there. Yeah. Tracy says job centre staff told her if employment didn't work out she wouldn't be penalised and could go back onto her old benefits. But when she re-signed on in September 2016, she was a new universal credit claimant, meaning a wait to be paid. I had to begin the assessment phase as 